Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R350 server. In this video, we're gonna specifically focus on memory. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today. It's a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R350 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll hop in now. This video is gonna be specifically dedicated towards memory. So let's just hop into the good stuff. So uh, there are four DIMM slots inside. It runs on DDR4 memory. It can take a number of different sizes, as low as a four gig, an eight gig, a 16 gig, or all the way up to a 32 gig, which means it can take up to 128 gigs total using four 32 gigs. You can use a number of different speeds. You can go as low as 2666, 2933, or all the way up to 3200, which is the fastest possible speed with your R350 server. The types of RAM that you can use, well, there's only one type. It is ECC unbuffered. And ECC unbuffered can be a little bit confusing sometimes because sometimes people get it uh, mixed up with non-ECC unbuffered, which is a desktop processor. Uh, ECC unbuffered modules are uh, specifically for servers, uh, but they're not gonna be the same as registered, so you can't take a registered module or a load reduced module for that matter and pop them into your R350 and think that they're gonna work. They will not work. You do have to have ECC unbuffered. So the max that you're gonna get in this machine as a whole is gonna be 128 gigabytes using 432 gigs at 3200 speed using ECC unbuffered memory. So now that we know a little bit more about the uh, types of speed, the uh, or the types of RAM, the speeds, the sizes, let's go ahead and show you how to physically install them. But before we do, I'm gonna grab my ESD gear and be right back. All right, have my ESD gear on. We're safe to work inside a machine. First thing I always like to do is lay out everything we're gonna need. We just need our RAM, no tools will be needed. So let's pop our latch, lift our top off, just like any server you've been in before. We will need to remove our air baffle. One of the things I did want to note about the air baffle, back here it's tough to see, but it is actually labeling the dim slots. So you have A1, A2, A3, A4. So let's lift our air baffle up. And the dim slots are also labeled right here on the motherboard, but I always like to point that out. So right now there's only one 32 gig dim installed. So what we're gonna do is actually remove this to start. And we are gonna to toss this to the side because we are going to be installing 32 gigs. So I always like to, to note a couple things here. So um, you'll notice that there are two white dim slots and two black dim slots. White is the start of a new memory channel and black is the second slot in the memory channel. So if you do a quick count, there are two memory channels and each memory channel has two DIMMs per channel. So what we're gonna do, let's say we were only putting one DIMM in, it will be exactly what you just saw, which is this one right here. But if you're putting two in, it's gonna be the first two white slots, okay? So that would be how you install one or two models. Now, of course, if you were maxing out, you just load it all up, but if you were only putting in one or two, this would be the proper configuration. Now, another thing that I always like to point out is that if you look at this little notch right here that's carved out in the leads, this is known as a key. This key is not perfectly centered. In fact, it's just slightly off, so you have to make sure that you line everything up properly. So I did it kind of fast on the first two, uh, but when you go to line it up, if you have it faced the wrong way, you could potentially damage the leads on the uh, the memory module or the DIMM slot itself and have to replace the motherboard. Neither are a solution that you want to deal with. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have uh, everything lined up properly. The other thing I always like to say is, you'll notice I like to pop out my tabs in advance before I install the module, which makes it a lot easier. And the other thing I always like to note is when you go to install your module, you're gonna hear these two clicks And it's a little bit quiet on this one, but those two clicks let you know that the uh, the dim slot itself, there's little notches carved out on the side, and the notches uh, or the tabs will come up and pull the dim firmly in to the slot to make sure you have a firm connection. So let's do it one more time. Make sure it's lined up properly. And again, just you hear those two clicks. Now this right here, I'm just going to push this out just a little bit. It's barely sticking out that white tab, but just that little bit right there is enough to not register this module. So if I were to boot up this machine, it would actually show that this DIMM is uh, is out, or I would say the DIMM slot is bad. It might even throw off the whole channel and show both of them is off. So again, hear that click, make sure it's fully in there. It's 
so one of the main things I always like to point out is the most common user error that we run into is people not fully seating it. And if you're not sure if a module is bad, one of the, one of the things we always recommend to troubleshoot it is rotate your modules around. See if the, uh, the bad module follows whichever dim slot you put it in, or if the dim slot stays bad, or maybe it just wasn't seated properly and the whole thing goes away. So those are some of the steps that we recommend for troubleshooting. All right, so uh, now that we've done our install, we made it this far, click that like and smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built servers, Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we build new and we build used. We build a ton of 15th gen U servers and we're building 16th gen new Dell. We'd love the opportunity to win your data center's business. Please email us at sales at cloudninja.com. That's sales at cloudninja.com.